So let us try to understand how to draw the acceleration diagram in case of some complex mechanism. So as shown over here, we are having the mechanism which is having two sliders B and D and the various dimensions of the links are OA is equal to 300 mm, connecting rod AB is equal to 1200 mm, then BC is 450 mm and CD is equal to 450 mm. And this particular distance is 1050 mm. Now we'll take some suitable space diagram scale. That is 1 cm is equal to 100 mm. So that this OA will be 3 cm, AB will be 12 cm, BC will be 4.5 cm and CD will be equal to 4.5 cm. And this particular distance will be 10.5 cm. So first we'll draw this particular crank circle making the crank making an angle of 30 degree. From A, we will draw an arc of AB. Then from B, we will draw the distance BC. And from C, again, we will draw the arc on this particular distance, that is, which is at a distance of 10.5 cm. So let us see, with the help of animation, how to draw this particular space diagram. So we are drawing the crank circle by taking some suitable scale of 1 cm is equal to 100 mm draw the center lines for this mark the angle of 30 degree mark this point on the crank circle that is a and o is the point as shown over here join this o a then mark this angle that is 30 degree with a as a center draw the arc of a b of 12 centimeter and join this now the distance between these two by scale as we have already seen is 10.5 cm. Now mark the point C. So BC is 4.5 cm by scale and CD is also 4.5 cm by scale. Then join this CD and construct the piston at B as well as at D. So that will complete our space diagram. Now let us see how to draw the acceleration diagram. Now as we have already seen, as this particular crank OA, it is rotating uniformly, it will have only radial acceleration and radial acceleration of A with respect to O will be always directed towards the center that is O because radial or centimeter acceleration is always directed towards O. Similarly, radial acceleration of B with respect to A, assuming this A as a center, so it will be towards A. So radial acceleration of B with respect to A is also directed towards A. Tangential acceleration is perpendicular to the link. So it is perpendicular to this particular radial acceleration also. Point C can be obtained by ratio and proportion. For example, you can see over here this AB upon AC on this stress diagram. That is AB is 12 cm and this AC is 7.5 cm on the space diagram and that will be equal to AB upon AC on the acceleration diagram. So on the acceleration diagram, if we know this AB, then you can easily find out this point, this particular distance AC and locate point C also. Then radial acceleration of D with respect to C. As C is the center, it is directed towards C and tangential acceleration will be perpendicular to the link. So it is perpendicular to the radial acceleration also. Similarly, acceleration of the slider will be parallel to the path of sliding. So acceleration of B with respect to fixed point that is O is parallel to this path of sliding. Similarly, acceleration of D with respect to O is also parallel to this particular path of sliding. So now we will start with the acceleration diagram. So our first vector is radial acceleration of A with respect to O. So mark this point O in the space which is the fixed point. From O, draw a line parallel to this FRAO to some suitable scale so that we have already drawn over here. So this is point A. So this is FRAO that is acceleration of A with respect to O. Then the second vector is this particular one that is radial acceleration of B with respect to A. Out of this B and A, A point is known. So from A draw a line parallel to this vector whose magnitude and direction will be known to you by some suitable scale. So this AX represents FRBA. 
from x draw a line parallel to this tangential acceleration whose magnitude and direction for the time being we are not knowing then the acceleration of slider that is b with respect to o is parallel to the path of sliding so out of this b and o o point is known so from o draw a line parallel to this so wherever this particular line and this tangential acceleration line they intersect that is our common point of intersection that is b so you can see this ftba and this fbo is having common point that is b correct so this will be the point of intersection so join this ab representing the resultant acceleration of b with respect to a now we have to locate this point c by ratio and proportion as we have already seen so we can say that a b upon a c on the space diagram will be equal to a b upon a c on the acceleration diagram so now as you know this distance a b and this other distance is that is a b is 12 cm on the space diagram similarly this a c is 7.5 cm on the space diagram if you measure because this b c is 4.5 cm then you can easily find out this distance a c so once you know this distance a c you can mark this point c over here now once we get this particular point c now we come to this radial acceleration of d with respect to c so d with respect to c so radial acceleration will be directed towards the center that is c so from c draw a line parallel to this particular vector that is frdc tangential will be perpendicular to this so that line also we have drawn over here then comes the last vector that is acceleration of slider d with respect to fixed point that is o is parallel to the path of sliding so out of this d and o o point is known so from o draw a vertical line parallel to this path of sliding so wherever these two lines that is the tangential acceleration and these lines they intersect the common point of the common point is d correct? so point of intersection is the common point between these two that is ftdc and fdo they are having d point common in them so this is point d so we can say that this is particular vector represents the acceleration of d with respect to o so in this way we can draw the acceleration diagram in case of this particular complex mechanism.